This video will illustrate the construction of two-hour area separation walls, including clip spacing, clip attachment, fire blocking, and floor and roof intersections. Area separation walls are firewalls constructed with two-inch steel C-tracks at the top and the bottom of the wall, and two-inch C-tracks at the ends of walls and one inch gypsum shaft liner panels are set between the tracks. H studs are installed inside the tracks at 24 inches on center and subsequent shaft liner panels are friction fit between them. The area separation wall is supported by aluminum clips attached to wood or metal stud flanking walls on both sides. Clips are spaced vertically per UL Design U347 and are dictated by the building height. Note that the clip spacing decreases at the lower portions of the area separation wall as the wall gets taller. Begin construction of the area separation wall by attaching 2 inch C tracks to the top of the foundation with fasteners spaced 24 inches on center. Provide a minimum 3 quarter inch airspace between the area separation wall and the flanking walls. Starting at the edge of the foundation, insert two layers of one inch shaft liner into the C-track. Cap the edges of the shaft liner panels with a vertical C-track at the exterior wall. Fasten the C-track to the floor track with 3 8 inch pan head screws. Insert an H stud into the C-track and over the long edges of the shaft liner panels until the board edges contact the web of the stud. Continue in this manner alternating layers of shaft liner panels, friction fitting between the H studs until the end of the wall. Cap the top edge of the wall with 2 inch C track over the H studs and shaft liner panels. Insert vertical fire blocking spaced at a maximum of 10 feet along the wall. Attach each H stud to the flanking walls on each side with aluminum clips fastened to the underside of the double top plates and to blocking between the studs as required. Fasten the clips to the H studs with one 3 8 inch pan head screw through the short leg of the clip and to the adjacent framing with one inch and a quarter screw. Additional holes are provided for positioning only. Note that clips are used on both sides of the wall. Insert fire blocking at all floor and ceiling lines. A one inch airspace will accommodate the use of shaft liner panels as fire blocking. For the next floor, install a two inch C track to the track below with two 3 8 inch pan head screws spaced at 24 inches on center. Stagger all track joints a minimum of 12 inches. For the next floor, continue installing shaft liner panels and H studs in the same manner as the floor below and continue up to the roof. At the roof intersection, cap the walls with C-tracks abutting the underside of the roof sheathing. The area separation wall can terminate at the underside of the roof if the roof sheathing is constructed with fire retardant treated wood for four feet on each side of the wall. Or if the roof is protected with gypsum board directly beneath the sheathing supported by wood ledgers four feet on each side. Apply a minimum one half inch gypsum board to the face of the flanking wall studs. For specific questions, contact National Gypsum's 1-800 National Construction Services Team 1-800-926-7000.